is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back. Um, it is good to be back. Um, so we're gonna get into Ugas. We got a lot of good fights this weekend. We're gonna break those down later in the week. Um, but we got good news. Uh, we got interesting news. Not really good news. Bad news if you're Ugas. Um, bad news if you're a fight fan. Um, I don't know why I said good news. Scratch good news. We got bad news. Ugas uh, is Ugas about to lose his belt. Uh, before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, comes at you twice a day, every uh, day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, all right. Um, so, Ugas, uh, also please subscribe to your other channel, Texas Boxing the Scene, on YouTube, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, it's near and dear to our heart. Please uh, like Texas Box. I uh, subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene as well. All right. Um, U- Ugas, the WBA is, is under a lot of pressure. Um, the WBA gave 30 days to, to Ugas' team uh, to reach an agreement to fight in this uh, tournament, which would have him versus Senones. Um, then it would have um, Jamal James, um, who has the regular belt against uh, Radzeb Butiev. You know, um, and then the winners would face each other. You're going to take Ugas out of the mix for almost a year, right? Why would he do this? This is insane. Is he got to fight twice for his own belt? Assuming he beats Dan Jonas. I, if I'm a Ugas, I'm not doing this. But here's the problem. U- Ugas wants to fight Spence. He wants to unify three quarters of the belts. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? But the WBA is standing firm because w, the, the WBA had gotten heat from the Association of, of, of uh, Boxing Commissions um, about having 50, what, what was the number? It was 50, so 53 belts in 17 weight classes. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, 50, uh, 55 belts. Uh, it's down to 28 now. But they had 55 champions in 17 weight classes. Just the WBA. It's an issue, right? Um, but you, you, they're taking it out on the wrong guy, right? Look, Ugas was a regular champion. Uh, he got upgraded to world champion, super champion, whatever they want to call it, um, when Pacquiao went on hiatus for two years. Defended his belt, beat Ramos, right? Then, uh, he beats Pacquiao. So there's no way that he's he, you beat the champion and re, you got upgraded to the belt to world champion, and then you beat the world champion in recess. And Pacquiao was a legitimate champion. Pacquiao has a similar story. Pacquiao had to be a regular, right? He fought Keith Thurman, who took two years off, right? Um, yeah, I know he fought Lopez, but you know he took two years off for the Lopez fight. Um, and then Pacquiao beat Thurman. You know, to take the super championship, and then he he had his belt stripped and put in champion in recess when he took two years off. Ugas was upgraded, and then Ugas beat Pacquiao. If you can follow that, right? Thurman had the belt, Pacquiao beat him. Ugas beat Pacquiao in 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 that mix. Pacquiao got put uh, champion in recess. There's no way that this is not Ugas's belt. So why he has to apply for his own job? Not a plot, fight for his own position, fight for his own job. His job is WBA welterweight champion of the world. He's earned that. There's no other way to look at it. He beat Pacquiao after you already upgraded him. You upgraded him and said, now go beat the champion of recess. And he did it. So, I mean, now he wants to unify. He, look, he took a strange, strange, long path to get to be a world champion. You know, when he had all those losses, at 140, Amir Mom, I think. Like, when he lost all those fights at 140, no one ever said he was going to be a welterweight champ. No one ever guessed that. And he got here. By hook and by crook, he got here. And now he wants, 
He met his life goal. He became a world champion. And now he wants to be a fighting champion. He wants to unify. He wants to be the champion of the world. He wants to have all the belts. He wants to fight Spence. And the WBA is telling him, no, if you, if you want to be a fighting champion, we're going to strip you. Think about that. Think of the disgusting logic in that. If you want to fight, if you want to be a fighter, they're going to take your belt from you. Guys, this is insane. All right, this is certifiably insane. Because the WBA did these weird things with two champions, some, some three champions in each weight class. Just the WBA. Now, Ugas has to fight in a ridiculous tournament against guys. Stan Yonez, Jamal James, good fighters. They're good fighters. But, like, Jamal, uh, Ugas has already beaten Jamal James. Right? He wants to fight Spence because he's in that class now. He just beat Pacquiao. So why he's got to go from Pacquiao to fighting in a tournament for his own belt that he was upgraded to and then won outright is insane. What the NBA is doing, or Udonis Ugas, is not cool. Ugas earned his belt. And now he wants to defend it. He, he wants to be a fighting champion. And the WBA is not letting him be a fighting champion. There's something seriously wrong with this, guys. I, I, I look, the WBA is in, is in hot water for the ridiculous things that they've done with the super champion, regular champion, interim champion, gold champion, right? Like, uh, they're in hot water for what they've done. But they're taking down the wrong guy. Ugas is the solution to the problem. He's not the problem. U Ugas fought everyone. Ugas is the definition of a fighting champion. And now he wants to fight Spence. And the BA is telling him no. So he he you know he if he he runs the risk of, of so he's got two choices. He can fight Stan Yonez, he can fight for his own belt against Stan Yonez, and then the winner of Jabal James and Butiev, which I don't know who wins that fight, probably Jabal James, but who knows? Um and then and then he can fight Spence. Spence is gonna be gone, Spence is gonna be out of the weight class by then, right? I mean that fight's a year away, at least. Like, look, look, looky here. It's October 27th. They're giving him 30 days, right? So that would make it the end of November. So let's say he takes all 30 days, reaches an agreement to fight Stan Yonez. What is scheduled to fight out? 90 days out? February of 2022? Then he's got to fight the winner of Jamal James and Butiev. So let's say, when does that happen? March, April, May, June, the earliest? June of 2022? So now we're looking late 2022 or 2023 before he can fight Errol Spence, which is all he wants to do is unify and be a fighting champion. Guys, this is atrocious. This is outrageous what the WBC is doing. The WBA is doing. Whoa. Wow. I mean, it's not okay. Um, they, they are. They, they. I don't know if it's a personal agenda against Ugas, but this is outrageous. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. So WBA like ooh, guys fight Spence. <laughs> why, why are a four man tournament? Why not have a two man tournament? Let ooh, guys fight Spence, and then Spence has to fight the winner of the you know Jabal James versus Dan Jonas. Let those two guys fight each other, and then the winner becomes the mandatory for the WBA. I mean, that's reasonable. But they can't do that. I, I don't understand what Stan Jonas has on him, but he has something on him. I don't know if he has pictures. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what he has on them, but he's got something. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Also, just subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Um, it is October 27th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get the Iron Boy in. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.